And welcome back. And you know, on November the 21st, the Hip Hop Hall of Fame, they got the awards going on. It's going to take place. And joining us with a preview, we have JT Thompson and Kenny Snyder in the house. Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Peace and blessings, brother. Peace, Peace and blessings. Thank you for having us. All uh, right. You know, we're, it's always about. a pleasure to see you guys, you know. Yes, sir. Uh, Hip Hop started a while ago. And you, sometimes we have these parties or concerts and you see people coming in. Some of us are coming in, in with walkers and canes. That's how long it's been out. Wow. We still celebrate. But we still come in. We still yeah, come That's in. right. That's right. So tell us about some of the things that you guys are doing. Well, you know, all I can tell you is this. We're just very excited about right now, uh, this time in hip hop being in the 40, 44th year. Yeah. Uh, the Hip Hop Hall of Fame actually won a bid for a building in Harlem. And we're very excited at the fact that we're getting ready to actually uh, close escrow on that property in, in the coming months. Yeah, yeah. That we'll be able to unveil our own Hip Hop Hall of Fame, museum, entertainment complex with a hotel, yeah. retail shopping to it, uh, sports bar, concert lounge, uh, restaurant, a youth, a youth program for film and wow. television. So, yeah. and, and we're talking about about a close to a 20 story building. So it's kind of unique to be on the level of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yeah. and the Country Music Hall of Fame and Hotel and the new African American Museum. And we got a secret weapon, a, a new uh -oh. architect that go. I can't name right now, but uh -huh. one of the most prestigious architects in the country is coming on yeah. board. Yeah, when you first started talking about it in Harlem, it was in the Magic Johnson Theater. Um, right. That was that was Curtis. Magic Johnson opened up the uh, yes, right. and then he started talking about the Hip Hop Hall of Fame and all that stuff. Well, the good thing is though, the good thing is that we have come so far from just being a TV show on BET in the 1990s, yeah. surviving the Tupac and the Biggie era uh, with the East Coast and the West Coast, being a uniter of peace, love, and unity, bringing the coast together from the South to the North, the East, and the West into one I'm collective. Get busy, girl. <laughs> <laughs> But that is, that is our mission, yeah, though, yeah, yeah, yeah. to preserve, to archive, and to celebrate, but also as a museum and an educational institution, yeah. it's important that we embrace all, everyone, whether you're from the Bronx, Queens, Manhattan, it doesn't matter. Oh, we're going to give him a radio Brooklyn. show on BLS, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Sunday, on Sunday to talk once. Hey, <laughs> hey, yes, yes, that's yes. the crash crew, though, right hey, there. Yeah, the legendary <laughs> crash crew, right there. I know. We're going to have you guys come back up and do some old school, get that little... Stage over there. Uh -oh. Get busy. <laughs> Give me some turntables. You know how we There do. you go. <laughs> <laughs> we we had uh, turntables here. You know, we start up the show. We used to got a guy was like running okay, throughout man. the show with the turntables. So, what part do you play? Well, um, I'm JT's uh, chairman and uh, co-chair of artist relations. Yeah. Plus, I'm the producer, one of the producers of the Hall of Fame Awards show. So, you know, uh, then you know, kind of his counselary, you know. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, and JT, that, that award show's coming up soon. November 21st. November 21st. Right, we'll be at uh, Stage 48 in Manhattan. So how's it going to look? What's, what's it gonna, what well, are we going to see? You're going to see uh, LL Cool J get inducted. Uh, you're going to see Mr. Harry Belafonte in the movie Beat Street get inducted. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're going to see uh, Mr. Joe Conzo, uh, who took uh, Hip Hop's Baby Pictures and did a book called Born in the Bronx. Uh, as, as a photographer, he'll be inducted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have Mixed Master Mike Disco Day Productions slash Records. They'll be inducted in Joy Records. Mm -hmm. um, you have the Crash Crew. You have uh, uh, the Disco Four, Master Don, and and uh, their committee. And uh, you know, people that. who don't know Master Don, you know, <laughs> that's where Master P got uh na 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 yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah. You know, so they'll be inducted to the Hall of Fame as well. You know, you gonna be playing? Um, who knows? <laughs> You know, I, you know me. I never. That one of them tuxedos that you rip off, yeah. hang up. And just I, I never turned down a turntable, man. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but it's exciting, though, just for the mere fact to be able to bring the Hip Hop Hall of Fame Awards back. Uh, we did it in 2014, uh, where we had a, a great class in 2014, yeah. which included uh, the Gang. sequence, the Sugar Hill Gang. Uh, uh, um, uh, Uncle Ralph McDaniel, so right. many other individuals that was inducted then. But yeah. now that we're on track to be an annual show with, with the fact that the museum is coming, I think this is the right time and the right place for hip-hop to be celebrated on a higher level. I like it. I like it. And we have a great hostess, um, our sister Roxanne Shante. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's oh, our hostess man. with the most, so she is always, you know, on deck for everything we do. That's and good. our That's brother good. DJ Mel Star as well. That's good. Beautiful. Beautiful. You got Molly Marl and anybody coming down? <laughs> well, Juice Crew will definitely make an appearance. You know, yeah. uh, um, the last show, 2014, like JT just mentioned, we had a Juice Crew, re Juice Crew reunion because we inducted Mr. Where Magic. Where did that Juice Crew thing came from? 
Uh, it's the magic. WBLS. You know, you I, I don't know. You know, it, it, it was a radio station back then. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but, but you know, things like that is what really paved the way because uh -huh. we were able to take those tapes and take them to the West Coast where we went to school and where we traveled overseas in the military. And it really Im took hip hop, you know, all around the world necessarily, not just in, in New York. So I'm yeah. just saying, all those elements, th that whole story is going to finally be told in the way it's supposed to be right. told. Where can we go for more information? Uh, you can go Hip to the website. HipHopHOF.TV or .org. HipHopHOF.org. You can get us all day long on all the right. website. Thank you guys so much. Give them a big round of applause, Thanks everybody. JT Thompson. <laughs> Kenny Snyder. Look, they, they left the N out or no? Mm, that's right. Okay, Snyder. All right. Uh, and this is coming up. We want to get down and make sure you, 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 you put me in there, too, because yeah. I gave the first rap to Frankie Crocker, but he thought it was a poem. That's how early it was. I'll tell you more <laughs> about it later on. Oh, we want all that. We, we need your memorabilia, Bob. We'll take a quick break and come back with more. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Open Next. <laughs> 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 